It is day three here in Spain, and it's today's outfit. Hey guys, so we're getting ready to go to a different city. We're going to Cordoba and I'm excited for that. We're gonna rent a car, so we're gonna go pick it up. And now we have to get our bags, at the, they're still at the hotel. So we're gonna go get it now and then head to go get the car. And yeah, we should be in Cordoba right after that. Probably check into the hotel once we get there and go explore the town a little bit. But yeah, it's been really nice being here and I'm excited to go explore a new city. So yeah, I'll see you guys. We're gonna eat something here and then head to Cordoba. Plan is to take stuff to the hotel and then drop it off. Go park the car somewhere wherever we can find parking and then go explore the town at least for a little bit. The good thing is that the sun goes down pretty late so we'll have like honestly to like almost 10 p.m. to really explore and then we'll have tomorrow too so yeah I'll show you guys how the food is here. So guys, we just got to Cordoba and it's so pretty here. I think I like it the most so far out of like in between like Sevilla and Madrid. Obviously like I've been to Madrid many other times, but I don't know. I'm liking this little town so far. It's really cute. I'm on the Roman bridge, I think it's called right now, but look how pretty that view is.
Look at that view of the city behind me. If you're wondering what this paper is, we wrote some places down to visit, but I think a lot of these are already closed because it's so late. It's like already 7.30, I think. Yeah, 7.30. But hopefully whatever we can't see today, we will see in the morning. officially been at this bridge for like an hour and a half that's how nice it is but um we we're flying like the drone and then we did like this whole museum thing like a, the tower right there it was pretty interesting it was about the history of the city so that was nice and then at the top they had like this whole little viewing point which is pretty nice and you can see like a really nice view of the bridge from up there but yeah i don't know what we're gonna do now since Basically, we've just been like relaxing and walking around, but we'll see what the plan is. I'm not super hungry because we kind of ate late. Um, maybe I'll have like a small snack if anything, but I don't know if we're gonna do anything else like sightsee after this because the sun's starting to set. So I don't know if we're gonna have time. We'll see. I'm also kind of like all sweaty and tired because it's been hot today. Actually, it hasn't been as hot as like the past two days, but it's still been pretty hot. So yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. So guys we just got back to the hotel and i wanted to give you guys a little room tour so i'm gonna do that now so right now i'm like standing at the front door there's this kind of like dresser thing here which i haven't even opened obviously it's empty and there's like a safe and some blankets up there then over here there's a desk where i literally like put all my stuff in there so just ignore that mess then we got like the two little beds put together two little nightstands you know basic little hotel room but it's kind of like really cute and unique there's a mirror right here. My bags are there. Um, this is the best part, so I'll leave this for in a minute. This is the bathroom, and there's a mirror right here. You know, regular bathroom, and the bathtub looks pretty nice. And then when you come back out of the bathroom, there is like this little balcony right here. You'll see. So it faces out to like the courtyard, which is basically the first floor of the hotel. So when I open the door, you're gonna see there's like rooms on there. It's pretty cool. This is what it looks like. It is super beautiful. In the morning, it looks even better because the light comes in through the roof, but it looks so pretty. We kind of got lucky because some of the rooms don't have a balcony, so it's pretty nice that ours did. Also, uh, my under eyes, I know they look kind of weird. My makeup is running because I was sweating a lot, so yeah. <laughs> Overall, it was a really nice day here. Like, I am enjoying the city so much, and we haven't even seen, like, all of it yet. Another thing that happened was that we had to park our car, like, five minutes away. So we had to, like, walk over here. And as I'm walking here with, you know, I have, like, all my luggages and all my stuff. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff, so as I'm walking... A bird poops on my head. <laughs> I'll answer the photos somewhere on the screen. Supposedly it means good luck. I don't know. I hope it does because now I need to wash my hair again. But anyway, I just thought it was funny. I wanted to share it with you guys. And on the photo that I posted, you can barely even see it at that point because I kind of like wrapped something and I like rubbed it off because it was like nasty. And I took the photo after I had already taken like the majority of it off. So I'm pretty sure there's only like literally like a white dot in the photos so but anyways i am super excited to be here i can't wait to show you guys more of this little city tomorrow it is absolutely gorgeous here i highly recommend visiting like i said earlier like probably one of my favorite cities that i've been to this so far in this whole trip yeah so i'm gonna go shower and i think we're gonna look into getting some tickets for tomorrow and i'll probably like sit down and see like what other things we can do because 
we're supposed to go to another city tomorrow and like that means we're gonna have to wake up early because you know like we're trying to see so many things in such a small amount of time therefore we have to wake up even earlier luckily it's the summer and it doesn't get dark until like 10 p.m which is really nice because other times i've traveled to europe and it's like nighttime by 4 p.m and it's i hate it but i'm glad that i'm here in the summer and not in the winter because it definitely like really helps out especially if you want to visit like multiple cities like every day that are closed and nearby and whatever and honestly it really helps out that it doesn't get dark until like 10 p.m but yeah it's my little update for you guys i know i haven't really been talking a whole lot but it's just been a little a lot of walking and a lot of like rushing around so but now that i can finally like sit down and talk to you guys for a little bit that's what i'm doing so but yeah i will see you guys tomorrow